So here's the right channel, left channel. Hello folks, welcome to NetCruiser Tech. Today I want to talk to you about microphones again, as this time I'm going to test a new micro stereo microphone, the Comica CVM VS10. Now I'm starting to get some camera equipment that has external microphone support, the Osmo Action being one of them, and this was a solution that I showed you at the end of last year that you could run. This is a Rode Video Micro or a Video Mic Me with the mic attachment, but it's a pretty unwieldy setup for an action camera, a little bit ridiculous. And one thing that I enjoy that may be a little bit different from a lot of other YouTubers that you see is stereo microphones. For me, a lot of the times I'm using the onboard microphone because you get stereo. With most of the other vlog type microphones that you get, they're all shotgun mics, which means they're mono. I much prefer stereo sound. And so that is what this should be able to give us. But it's also a nice small unit that should be a little bit better than something like that. So let's get this open out of the box and see what it's like. It features the XY stereo mic for ideal audio, 90 degree adjustable bend, metal housing, built-in shock mount, gold plated capsule, mini light flexible for GoPro and cameras. So let's take it out of the box and see what you get. Now, before the end of 2019, I also showed you another product from Comica, which was the big shotgun pro mic. I have returned that as I did not like the audio interference that I got when I was near Wi-Fi routers, as well as it was just too big. It's, I prefer compact modular micro style systems, not giant big microphones. Here's what you get in the package. Looks like you do get a wind muff and the mic itself is in this double clamshell plastic packaging. Pop it out. And here's the microphone. Pretty neat little setup. XY mic, stereo effect, and it does have the ability to turn 90 degrees. It is a TRS style plug, so that works on cameras, not smartphones. One thing I have just noted about the design is that you cannot flex it the opposite way. It will only tilt 90 degrees the one direction. So if you've got left and right audio channel, when you plug it in, depending on how the mic jack fits, you can't flip this down to get it to be proper stereo orientation. You might have to flip your audio channels in post, but uh, either way, stereo is better than mono, in my opinion. Let's try it out. And the wind muff that you get with it is the foam style. If you're interested in frequency response and polar patterns, here's the information on the microphone. The instruction booklet is fairly basic. Now it does show you installing the wind mic in a very simple way. I don't know how that is going to be possible because look at you only have one little hole here and I'm supposed to put that over both the X and the Y microphone. Um, I'm going to have to stretch that out a bit, really jam it on there to get it, to get it in. It will be possible, but I'll have to rip out that hole a bit in order to get it over because uh, yeah, it can be done. It's just a really tight fit. Kind of ruins the style of it a bit, but that will be much improved audio performance when you're outside or in any kind of a or in any kind of a wind scenario. So there is no settings or adjustments for this microphone. All you do is basically you plug it in and then you can tilt it as you needed. So let's try it out and see what it sounds like. Okay, as a baseline test, this is the built-in audio of the DJI Osmo Action with no microphone installed, just the built-in microphone in the camera body. Now I'll plug in the microphone. It detects it on the screen as a microphone and I have it tilted up. Okay, this is testing the new Comica CVM VS10 stereo microphone on the DJI Osmo Action. It is tilted 90 degrees with the microphones facing up. It is tilted 90 degrees with the microphones facing up. Okay, this is the DJI Osmo Action testing the Comica. Okay, this is the DJI Osmo Action testing the Comica CVM VS10 stereo microphone with the microphone facing towards the rear at me as I'm speaking into it. Now we're testing the Comica microphone on the actual Canon itself. I have it set 90 degrees on the side with its microphones are facing me. Now, if I do want to get it to proper orientation to face forward, if I tilt it, that probably added static. Now you would have stereo effect up and down versus backwards, forward, left and right. So that's going to be a little bit wrong, but 
you can add an extension cable and then I should be able to get it in proper orientation. We're just checking audio quality at this point. But I do really like this for size. It should be good. I'm gonna try out a stereo test on this new microphone. So here's the right channel. Scraping, right channel, left channel. Right channel, left. Testing to see if the stereo microphone through the Synova adapter on the DJI Osmo Action is actually stereo. So here's the right channel, left channel. All right, let's see if you're actually in stereo now. So we'll have to see what that audio quality was like after I review the footage. But overall, I do like this from a, from a design perspective. I just wish that it was able to flip 180 degrees either direction and it would be nice if it had come with a little extension cable as well so that I could orientate it how I want it to be because most of the time I'm going to want it to be on the front of a camera facing this way and I can't make that happen with all the way that the mics are on most cameras where it's in the side so you can have it facing up to the side up and down or forward but you can't get your actual true forward facing stereo effect because most of the time stereo jacks audio inputs are on the side of cameras not on the front so uh, an extension cable would have been nice in the box I'll just quickly test the quality with the microphone muff on something like the Osmo Action I actually think I like this setup plug this in so this would potentially be my setup here where I'd have the stereo mic facing up so I'd get proper left right channel okay testing the Comica mic Okay, testing the Comica microphone stereo with the wind muff on indoors. One potential issue that we have is that when the microphone gets bumped or rotated, I wonder how much of this is picking up handling noise and static. All right, so I just quickly listened to the footage back through the cameras and I'd say we've got a winner here overall. It definitely sounds better than the built-in microphone on the Osmo Action, that's for sure. So if you're looking for a small, lightweight stereo microphone, this is the only one I've ever seen that's like this, and I think it's super cool. So check out the Comica CBM VS10. I'll put links in the description where you can get one. And a very nice little video maker tool. If you enjoy stereo sound, as I do, I think it's a nice little pickup. It's around $50 uh, for this microphone, which sounds like a lot, but... If audio matters to you, it's worth it. In just my little handling test and blowing into the microphone test, the foam mic cover doesn't really do a whole lot. I do think that something like a fuzzy microphone wind sock over it will improve, so I might look into something like that. I do have little furry muffs called microphone stickovers. That's what these are. So that's a uh, circular uh, adhesive that leaves the microphone open under this. And then this just improves wind noise. So those aid a lot. And so I might put them on the top of this and then I would run it that way. Now here's an audio test with the stereo microphone facing me in a vertical orientation. So uh, right channel is high and left channel is low uh, but overall as i'm just speaking into it it should be a fairly decent uh, balanced audio sound and I also i'm wondering if this sounds better than the built-in microphone testing testing one two three testing testing one two three here's the built-in microphone testing testing one two three testing testing one two three Okay, I just watched that back and you have to give it a couple seconds for the mic gain to recompensate. So this is the built-in stereo microphones on the Canon M6. And now I will plug in the microphone in this type of orientation so that left will be facing up and right will be facing back. The microphones will be facing me. And now this is the stereo microphone facing me as I'm speaking into it with left channel high, right channel low. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Now I'm going to unplug the microphone. And now we're back to the built-in stereo microphone on top of the Canon M6. Which sounds better? I think this does, but I'll have to review it to find out. Snapping behind right. Snapping in front of left. All right, we'll see how stereo effect works. Okay guys, so that's the Comica CVM VS10 stereo microphone. Little nice micro microphone. 
really useful tool. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.